the fear of doing something insignificant. So this is a podcast called The Startup Chat with Steli F and Heaton Shaw. Great podcast. I actually used to listen to this way back uh, in the day and it's been a while. I've dipped back in recently and episode 456, Fear of Doing Something Insignificant, I caught yesterday. A couple things that stuck out to me. One of them was people being hesitant to do something because it's too small. You hear that a lot. You know, you you, you throw an idea out and the, and the first question is always, will that scale? Is that going to be a billion dollar company? Whatever. It's like, who cares? I've been thinking about that in the context of these videos I'm doing. It always starts small. You get hardly any views. I mean, I'm looking at videos that have four views on them. It's depressing. It is. It is depressing to see those numbers. It's almost better to not see the numbers at all and to focus on meaningful interaction that you're getting. What they were talking about is how do you define small? It's so subjective. If it's a business, are you defining that as enough to make a living? You know, you can make a living on a very reasonable uh, amount of money. So many ways to define it, which I thought was interesting. And then another segment in there, he was talking about how you shouldn't be rigid about who you are, which was if you're a founder and they were talking about like somebody who like was a, a tech founder and raised a bunch of money and then now they became a life coach and it was like, man, there could be the sort of stigma of like, why would you become a life coach? Like you were like a legit tech founder. Founder, but it's like, if that's what you want to do and that's what you love, do it. Who cares? You know, and I'm always thinking about what's my plan B if business goes downhill, even though objectively the business is doing absolutely great. But I constantly think about that. Like, man, what's my plan B? Once you're a, a founder or a business owner, it's like, oh, if I have to go back and get a job, that would be a failure. And I think that's an unhealthy perspective. And it's a perspective that I, I have. And a lot of times, honestly, I think to myself, man, even though financially the business is doing great, like I might be happier with a job like a regular job. And sometimes I think I should seriously consider that, but there is that sense of pride that you have being a business owner and 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 stuff. But I thought that was a great perspective on it. Don't be rigid just cuz you're an ex today, whether that's business founder, whether that's a CTO, whether that's a CMO, whether that's a marketing manager. And then maybe a year from now, you're going to be doing something totally else. Maybe you're going to start writing. Maybe you're going to become a mechanic. Maybe you're going to whatever, become a beauty vlogger, right? Like if you love to do that, do it, you know, and if you can make it work, then go for it. So I thought that was really cool.